Welcome to Inthigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting radical equation problem for the real values of x. Here, x cannot be equal to negative 1 as our denominators cannot be equal to 0. Now, I will consider LCM of the radicands only. So, we will write fifth root of 5 times x plus 1 plus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator it will be x plus 1 plus fifth root of 6 times x plus 1 minus 1 in the numerator and denominator is x plus 1 equal to fifth root of 81. So, we will simplify a bit. We will get 5x plus 5 plus 1, so 6 over x plus 1 plus fifth root of 6x plus 6 minus 1, so 6x plus 5 over x plus 1 will be equal to fifth root of 81. Now, I will multiply in our RHS radicand by 3 in the numerator. So, I need to multiply here by 3. Now, 81 times 3 is 243, which we can write fifth root of 3 power 5 in the numerator. In denominator, it is 3. So, this will give us 3 over fifth root of 3. Let me write our equation here. Fifth root of 5x plus 6 over x plus 1 plus fifth root of 6x plus 5 over x plus 1 equal to 3 over fifth root of 3. Now we will multiply both sides by fifth root of 3 so that our RHS denominator will be over. Fifth root of 3, this side also, fifth root of 3. Now we can cancel fifth root of 3 from the RHS. Now I will multiply this fifth root of 3 in the numerator here and here. So, I can write our equation fifth root of 3 times 5x plus 6 over x plus 1 plus fifth root of 3 times 6x plus 5 over x plus 1. Now, RHS will be 3 only. Or we can write our equation fifth root of 15x plus 18 over x plus 1 plus fifth root of 18x plus 15 over x plus 1 will be equal to 3. Now we will consider substitutions. Let me write equation once. Here it is. Now we will consider this radicand equal to a power 5 and this radicand we will call b power 5. So, I can write our first equation fifth root of a power 5 plus fifth root of b power 5 which will give us a plus b equal to 3. This is our equation number 1. Now, I will find the value of expression a power 5 plus b power 5. Denominator is same. So, we will write our common denominator x plus 1. Simply, we need to add numerators. 15x plus 18 plus 18x plus 15. This will give us 33 times x plus 1 over x plus 1. So, we can cancel x plus 1 from numerator denominator. We will get our second equation a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33. 
this equation we will call equation number 2. Now I will use algebraic formula for the value of a cube plus b cube which is equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3 times ab times a plus b. Now a plus b was 3 so I will write here 3 cube minus 3 ab times 3. Now I can take 3 common out. So in bracket I will write 3 square which is 9 minus 3 ab. A cube plus b cube. Let us say this is our equation number 3. Now we will use binomial expansion. So I need to write a plus b whole power 5 formula which is equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5 ab in the bracket a cube plus b cube plus 10 times a square b square times a plus b. Now we have three equations a plus b is 3. So I will write here 3 power 5. a power 5 plus b power 5 was 33 equation number 2 plus 5 times ab. a cube plus b cube is 3 times 9 minus 3ab as per equation 3 plus a plus b is 3. So 10 times 3 is 30. I can write 30 a square B square. Now we will divide our equation by 3. So let's divide by 3. I will write here 3 power 4 which is 81 equal to 11 plus this 3 and 3 will be cancelled out. Here 30 over 3 will be 10. So I can write here 5ab in the bracket 9 minus 3ab then we will write 10 times a square b square now 81 minus 11 is 70 once we will take 11 to the lhs equal to 5 times 9 is 45 so i will write 45 ab minus 15 a square b square plus 10 a square b square so i will get minus 5 a square b square. Now equation is divisible by 5. Let me write our equation here. 70 equal to 45 ab minus 5 a square b square. Let's divide our equation by 5 first. So I will write here divided by 5 divided by 5. This will give us 14 equal to 9ab minus a square b square. We will take all the terms to LHS. We will get a square b square minus 9ab plus 14 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation in AB. We can see the eligible factors of 14 as 2 times 7. So I can write here a square b square minus 9ab. We can write minus 2ab minus 7ab. Then we have plus 14 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can take ab common out. So in the bracket we will get ab minus 2. From last two terms we can take minus 7 common out we will get the same bracket ab minus 2 equal to 0. So we have ab minus 2 times ab minus 7 equal to 0. Now we can apply product 0 rule. So we will get two equations. Either ab minus 2 equal to 0 or ab minus 7 equal to 0. So from first equation we can get ab equal to 2 
and from second equation we will write AB equal to 7. Now we have equation number 1 A plus B equal to 3. From here I can write the value of B 3 minus A which we will apply in both the equations. So I will get A times 3 minus A equal to 2 and here I will write A times 3 minus A equal to 7. So I can write 3A minus A square equal to 2 or A square minus 3A plus 2 equal to 0. Here we will be writing 3A minus A square equal to 7 or A square minus 3A plus 7 equal to 0. Now I will consider our second quadratic equation first and I will check the value of discriminant only. So I will write discriminant D equal to B square minus 4AC. So B square will be minus 3 square. I am writing 9 minus 4 times 1 times 7. So 28. We will get discriminant negative minus 19. Once discriminant is negative, we will be getting complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation. Now I will consider our first quadratic equation. I can see the factors of 2, 1 times 2. So I can split our middle term as minus a minus 2a. So we will be getting two factors a minus 1 times a minus 2 equal to 0. From product 0 rule, we will get the values of a 1 and 2. Let me write here a equal to 1 and 2. Now if you remember our substitution was 15x plus 18 over x plus 1. This was a power 5. So I need to calculate a power 5 here. I will write 1 power 5 which is 1. 2 power 5 will be 32. Now I will frame two equations. I will write 15x plus 18 over x plus 1 equal to 1. And then I will write 15x plus 18 over x plus 1 equal to 32. Let's solve. Let's cross multiply. I will get 15x plus 18 equal to x plus 1. Or I can write 14x will be equal to minus 17. Or we will be getting our first real solution minus 17 over 14. Let's solve second equation. We will cross multiply 15x plus 18 equal to 32x plus 32. Or I can write here minus 14 will be equal to 17x. We will divide both sides by 17. We will get our second real solution minus 14 over 17. So we have two real solutions minus 17 over 14 and minus 14 over 17. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye.